I am Slick Nick, the living legend, but this is not a video about me. It's a video about this car, but really, I couldn't make this video if it weren't for my dad, so I really need him to tell the story. I'll go behind the camera. Let's learn about this car. <laughs> Okay, this, this car was originally my grandfather's car. He had purchased a house in the, in the mid 70s from a elderly lady and he noticed the car there in the carport and he ended up talking her into, you know, throwing it in on the deal, which was the all original 1963 Ford Falcon Futura, six cylinder, two speed auto automatic. Um, but you know, my grandfather, he kept the car. He drove it for, for I don't know, maybe 10 years or so. And then uh, he got something else and my dad bought it from him. And after my dad had it for about that long, then I, I got it around 19, uh, I think it was around 1990, I got the car. Which my children were in school and we had other things going and the car was still in pretty good shape, but it ended up setting. For a long time, I had no place to store it. It sat under a tarp and deteriorated pretty bad. Um, so in, by the time my children had graduated college and married, and then I had time for the car. In 2010, I started restoring it and, and, and slowly, slowly bring it to the point it is now. Um, if you want to bring the camera, we'll yeah, let's do that. Let's do a, some things. a tour of the vehicle. And uh, I think this will be very interesting. And I want to close this video. Remind me, I want to close it by showing all the trophies and awards you've won. <laughs> you've uh, won on it. So go ahead. Well, first thing, I stripped the car completely down, all the paint down to the metal, and repainted it. Which the car is completely rust-free. There was no rust whatsoever on the car. Uh, I had to totally redo the interior, which. It, it was red. I went back with a with a white. Ooh, that steering wheel. I don't even know that I've seen that steering wheel yet. Or I forgot about it. Tell me about that steering wheel. That's a wood grain steering wheel. It, um, it's an aftermarket wheel. I put it on because, you know, the original steering wheels on these cars were huge. They're like a 15 inch, you know. Um, so I like that one. It's a little smaller. It looks nicer than, than the original one. And now tell me about this, which is uh, aftermarket as well. Yes, I changed all the, the gauges, updated all of those to um, new gauges, new speedometer, 100, 140 mile an hour speedometer. I changed the shifter from the column to the floor, um, which it now went from a two-speed transmission to a four-speed automatic overdrive. And this is the Futura. Do you know, can you tell me anything specific about that? Why it was, was called that specifically for this Falcon? The, the Futura was just a package you could get on it. Um, it came with a, the sports roof. It came with an extra chrome. The interior had uh, all chrome inside. That's basically what the, the, the tour package was. Okay. You can get anything from a six cylinder to a V8. Let's talk about the wheels. I'm guessing you. <laughs> These wheels are actually um, come from my son-in-law. He had a Honda Accord, <laughs> this aftermarket wheel, but it seemed it it fit this car perfectly. I mean, the size and all and. Um, I had these little Ford stickers, so I thought that's a perfect place for those. That's funny, that's just a sticker on there. I didn't even... <laughs> it's a 17 inch rim, uh, eight inch wide. Oh, I guess uh, go ahead and open up the hood. <laughs> that's a big part of this, right? The car originally came with a 170 cubic inch six owner which was fine, but it just didn't have the pep that, that I wanted. So I upgraded to a 250 cubic inch. And that way I could use the uh, upgrade to a ultra drive transmission. Uh, if you know anything about these engines, they came with a small log intake, a one barrel carburetor um, that really just um, was not, you couldn't do much for horsepower. So what I ended up doing was cutting the log intake off and building my own which is a four barrel intake 
I have a um, a, a 490 or 390 CFM carb holly carburetor on it now. The head was was uh, polished, ported and polished. It's been milled off to uh, 48 cc. Um, also, I got stainless steel headers. I have a I have a small street cam in the in the car. Um, I built hand built all this uh, fil filter system myself for the cold air intake. It's, I've changed it over to an alternator from a generator. Um, I've changed the the brakes from the the O canister to a to a power brake system with a dual a reservoir. I've added um, electronic ignition to the car. Um, Does that have power steering? No power steering, <laughs> but. It's not bad. It's not bad at all to drive. It's not on the strain. How, uh, how fast have you gotten it up to? I've never had it over 85. Uh, just really no need. So. All right. Anything else to show for our tour here? Well, I also changed it over from the small um, rear end to a four to eight inch rear end to handle the, the extra torque from the bigger engine. I put dual exhaust all the way out to the back. This is, this is a uh, red fire, the name of the paint. It's a high metallic, uh, it's just, it was the same paint used on, I think it came out in, on the Fords in 19, uh, I mean in 2005. We'll take one more look inside from this end. Is that original carpet? No, the carpet's been changed. Put a new new carpet in it. A new dash pad, new new uh, headliner, new seat covers, new door panels. I'm curious, just with your opinion. You're not selling this, but if you were selling it, how much do you think people would pay for this? I mean, you've put so much, so many years and so much money into this thing. Yeah. Based off of what I've seen, anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five thousand. So, you know, people, if if you're really looking for something, you'd they'd pay that much for it. I mean, because the Falcons on the road that are this, this is like the nicest one I I've, I've ever seen. <laughs> you own it, yeah. so it's like. This is the nicest version of this thing you can you can find. Well, I want to close this. Like I said, let's look at the, the awards you've won for this. Because basically by default, one of your hobbies, in addition to fixing cars and rebuilding them, is taking that to the car show. And, uh, you know, people acknowledge that this, this Falcon here is worth. So these are just simply your trophies you've won from car shows that you've taken it to. Yes. Uh -huh. You just go to car shows and then you just win. That's pretty much what happens, right? Well, sometimes, you know, I guess because the car is different from what most people do, maybe putting in a, a V8 engine and other things, and I stayed with the, with the six cylinder, it makes it kind of unique. And I think that kind of catches a lot of the different judges eyes and, and they like that. So. But it, it just seems that every time you go to a car show you win an award. Like that's, the, it seems like that's the norm every time I go. I'm like, I don't ask you did you win? I'm like, okay, well, you won, right? I mean, or what exactly did you win for it? Yeah. So, cool, well, uh, the plan now, uh, we'll try to take it on a drive so we can take a, a virtual test drive now that we've had a virtual tour of the vehicle. How about if you go ahead and shut the hood there and I'll just do one kind of, one more lap around it, get a good view of it on this sunny Saturday morning. And then the sequel to this video will be the official test drive. Thanks for watching the video. 
And obviously, leave those comments if you wish.